the gas has no residual effect. This means that once the stack has been aired, there's no protection against feather insects, which may reinvade the stack from somewhere else. In order to slow down the rate of reinfestation, store and stack surfaces must be sprayed immediately after fumigation with a residual insecticide. Residual insecticides are normally applied in a diluted form. The specific insecticide used is regularly changed to prevent any buildup of resistance. Current national and international recommendations on dose and application rates must be consulted. Before spraying, the area of the store and stack surface to be sprayed must be calculated. When the area to be sprayed has been established, calculate the correct amount of insecticide concentrate. This will be expressed as the number of milliliters of concentrate required for each square meter to be treated. The amount of water is calculated on the basis of 3 to 4 litres per 100 square metres of stack and store surface. For their own safety, pest control staff must put on the correct protective clothing before starting work. Always wear rubber gloves, so the insecticide doesn't come into contact with the skin. The concentrate is extremely poisonous and must be handled with great care. To avoid spillage, a siphon should be used to remove the concentrate from the container. The concentrate must be carefully mixed into the correct volume of water. The high-pressure hose is next laid out in the store. The hoses are connected to the power sprayer and the feeder hose is placed in the diluted insecticide. All non-essential staff must now leave the store. Those members of staff who will undertake the spraying must put on face masks and visors. The wall surface must be sprayed with the full jet until there's some runoff of the insecticide from the walls. The floor must also be sprayed with extra attention paid to all cracks and crevices and door openings. Before spraying the stack, adjust the jet to make a fan spray. This avoids the stack surface getting too wet and so reduces the risk of damaging the rice. Stand one meter away from the stack and apply the spray in vertical strokes. After spraying is completed, wash all the equipment thoroughly in clean water. Run the water through the power sprayer and hoses for one or two minutes to wash them out. Be sure to wash any part of your body which could have been exposed to the insecticide. In a warm, humid climate, insect infestation is inevitable. Insects both damage and contaminate rice stocks. So when infestation occurs, immediate action is essential.
Fumigants and insecticides are highly dangerous, so take great care. Special precautions are necessary and protective clothing must be worn for your own safety. Correct dose rates and exposure periods must be followed for fumigation and spraying to be successful. Fumigation can kill all stages of all insects, but will give no further protection to stock. Spraying fumigated stock with insecticides may slow down the rate of reinfestation. Insecticides have a useful but limited role in providing short-term protection to the outer surface of stored rice. Insecticides cannot control insects inside the stacks and break down quickly in tropical conditions. All pesticides are toxic. Staff must always wear protective clothing and wash all traces of pesticide from unprotected parts of the body. So take care at every stage. Protect the rice and protect yourself.